Coney Island, Brooklyn is New York's most famous summer destination, but there's more to this place than just the boardwalk and games. Today, we're gonna be taking you to five can't miss cheap eat spots in Coney Island. Hope you brought your appetites. What's good, members of the barrio? It's Louis Gusto from Chicago, and we are in town visiting one of my favorite cities. I've never been to Coney Island before, and I'm really hungry. Let's go. This looks like a simple juice shop two blocks from the boardwalk, but they have some of the best tacos in Coney Island. Check this out. Never been to a taco shop that also makes juice as well. Like smoothies, not just juice, like healthy smoothies. Want to uh, help protein? our vision or circulation or something like yeah. that? Yeah, <laughs> you want a protein shake? Feel a little healthy with your taco? Yeah, con todo. These are some of the heaviest tacos I've ever held. They're New York size tacos, <laughs> typically expensive, but usually you get a lot of meat in them. Ready? This Ready to try a New York taco? Let's do it. Let's do this. Mmm. Wow. That meat, so tender. Mmm. This is a surprise, you know. New York City taco scene, you really have to know where to go. I'd never heard of juice and tacos. I'll put this on my list. Like, I'll put this on my list of falling apart. I'll put this on my list of quality. I quit. Coming from Chicago, a city that is just world renowned for its Mexican food and Mexican population, you know, how, how does this compare? Can this hold its own in Chicago? I definitely think so, yeah, especially with the amount of meat that you get and the price we pay. That's yeah. definitely something Chicagoans can roll with. Yeah, I think these are so good that we may have to go back and try the juice. Yeah. If it's this good, imagine the protein shaker, right? Yeah. Coney Island has such an interesting history. In the late 1800s, this was like the Hamptons. This is where people would come to vacation. And did you know that in 1895, the first ever enclosed amusement park opened here? It smells like America in here. By the way, vegetarians out there, they actually have a plant-based hot dog. I never thought I'd see the day at Nathan's, but they got plant-based hot dogs here. One sauerkraut, one plain, one onions, yep. Dude, that was so quick. Last time I was here, 30 minutes, line barely moved. This is the original Nathan's, built in 1916. It used to be a nickel for a hot dog. This is New York City history here. This is a spot that I think every New Yorker has been to at least once. Can't wait, usually on a Chicago hot dog, we have a few more toppings, but I can go for this simplicity on a day like today. I just put mustard on mine. You ready? Let's go. Ready try it, let's do it. Tastes like summer in New York. They keep it simple. They haven't changed much got a really good snap to it. Yeah. I like toppings on my hot dogs, so the Empire way is with sauerkraut and spicy deli mustard, very good. I mean, you'd be doing yourself a disservice. You don't try this at least once in your life. Ben is clipping his nails for this shot, by the way. <laughs> I wasn't trying to bring attention to my nails, but mm. Okay. Like, I'm sorry, Jerry Chestnut. It's just, I don't know why you rush to like eat these things. You're supposed to savor it like that, you know? <laughs> so much better when you savor it, not to just... You wanna do it, around. Joey Chestnut, so I wanna break them in half? Isn't that how he does it? <laughs> yeah, it's like... Tilt-a-whirl, oh my God. Yeah, tilt-a-whirl. Wow, we used to have them at the church carnivals. If you just closed your eyes right now and listened to this music, you'll be eight years old again and really excited. So the breaded chicken Samita? Yeah, uh, Samita three ways, yeah. Oh uh, yeah, let's do everything. Yeah. Look at the preparation involved in this. I mean, we, we were really concerned that this place was gonna be closed today and pleasant surprise. So happy. Wow. <laughs> that is a huge sandwich. Holding this together is a miracle in and of itself. Breaded chicken, yeah. Oaxaca cheese, avocado. What else am I missing? Papalo, chipotle pepper, and mayonnaise. I can't believe we're eating this. You could literally divide this by three, like easily, but for two people, this is an entire meal. Six dollars each, you ready? On three, let's, let's dig in. One, two, three. I got a lot of flavor, oh my God. I didn't even get any chicken on that first bite. I just got a ton of Oaxaca cheese and some of the Chipotle. That bite was, was actually 
and experience. Every ingredient in here is bold. The chipotle pepper, the avocado, the cheese, the papalo, it's like a stronger version of cilantro. There's nothing subtle about this sandwich. This has so much flavor. I just made a huge mess. It is delicious. That crispy chicken cutlet was hiding at the bottom. It just complements this perfectly, but you know, I'd be impressed if you could take one bite and get everything in. This is it's a complex sandwich. Lewis had a good technique from all his years of eating sloppy Chicago sandwiches, right? Yeah, exactly. Our Italian beef sandwich, the bread literally falls apart because it's so soggy, so I kind of have, have a special grip to keep all those hearty ingredients inside. So this is actually one of the cheapest items on the menu, the $5 pulled pork tostada. When you get all this for five bucks, imagine what you get for six dollars. It would be the elote, which is what you commonly see on beaches in Mexico. So I think the placement here in Coney Island is excellent. Tell me in the comments if you got served a Jaritos ad watching this video. I've been getting Jaritos ads like crazy. I just want to know. I guarantee a Jaritos ad's gonna be in this video. You guys heard of Manny Pacquiao? Come on, Ben. Ah! Come on, man. <laughs> here we go. Ah! <laughs> oh, that's so weak. Don't show it! <laughs> I'm embarrassed! Uh, we're literally going like right next door to K&E fast food. We're gonna stick on that Latino theme here. Uh, one cheese, one beef, yeah. In between restaurants, I've been doing a little high stepping, you know, just to burn a few extra calories. Empanadas are one of their specialties. We have one cheese, one beef. Good boardwalk snack. Let's try this out. Let's see which one. Mmm. Mm. Crispy on the outside, good meat inside. This is your grab-and-go snack. Exactly. If you know you don't want a big meal, you don't want that monstrous samita. You just want yeah. something to chill with at the beach. Yeah. I think this would be the play. You can take it right into the El Dorado arcade. Joystick in one hand, empanada in the other. <laughs> That's an idea. I like that idea. We should do that right now. The Wonder Wheel is a non-negotiable when you come to Coney Island, as far as I'm concerned. all the way to Manhattan from here. This is that vantage point you get from the end of Brooklyn in the south. Uh, Ferris wheel was invented in Chicago for the 1893 World's Fair. I didn't know that. Yeah, it was that George Washington Ferris was the one that invented it. Of course we had to include at least one stop on the boardwalk and Paul's daughter is the oldest stand remaining here. One order of fried calamari. One fried calamari. And one refreshing lemonade. One small or large? Small. I thought there would be fries with this, but it is strictly calamari. This lemonade is so sugary. This is exactly what you want when you're on the boardwalk. We ordered calamari, a ton of it, with some marinara sauce. Having a little uh, seaside experience here in New York City. I feel like I'm living through an NYC movie. I could, I could see that for sure. A lot of movies were filmed here. Mm. It tastes exactly like you would expect fried calamari to taste like on the boardwalk. I mean, you could take this to go, great tables right here just to sit and people watch. This squid was grown locally at the New York Aquarium right around the corner. We can't confirm that. This is just his theory. We don't know. We don't know. If you're interested in Chicago travel content, be sure to check out my channel, Go Louis Gusto. Vintage New York, Coney Island. Come here for some amazing cheap eats and carnival rides, of course. Special thanks to Narissa and Lewis for joining me, guys. Thank you so much for watching. As always, till next time.